This video is introduced to primary four students by Miss Ale. Good morning, dear students. Wish you all are okay. Today's agenda is the writing study and revision on the word study. So let's start first with the revision on the word study. Please open your student book, page 155, and don't forget to bring a pen or a pencil. And now, let's start with the word study. Exercise D. Learn. Compound nouns with noun-verb combination. Some compound nouns are made from a noun and a verb, as we said before. So, when we say these compound nouns, the stress is usually on the first word. For example, in an earthquake, the plates release energy quickly. So, can you now tell me which part is the noun and which part is the verb? Excellent. The noun is earth and the verb is quake. So it's earthquake, earthquake. Now, let's do this exercise together. Listen and read the words, underline the two parts of each compound noun. Now, I will read these words for you. And I want you to underline them and explain which one is the verb and which one is the noun. And I think that will be your homework. So let's start. Snowfall, snowfall, haircut, haircut, teamwork, teamwork, raindrop, raindrop, landslide, landslide. Bodyguard, bodyguard. Now, it's your turn to finish this as a homework. So please, I want you to pause the video, finish this homework, and complete the video. Now, writing study. Exercise E. Learn contractions in present perfect sentences. You can use contractions in the present perfect sentences with subject pronouns. You can see here two examples. The first example, we've bought extra water in case of a storm. In here, we used we plus have equal we've. The second example, she's seen a tornado in her town. We used she plus has equal she's. And now let's apply on this rule. Read the paragraph, make contractions with the subject pronouns. Teresa has experienced many forces of nature in her life in Mexico. She's experienced a small earthquake that was quite scary. She has also been in a hurricane. I have only been in a blizzard. My family hasn't been in many dangerous situations. We have usually been safe. So let me first answer here. Excellent. She has also seen a hurricane. Now it will be? Yeah, I can hear you. She's also now. I want you to pause the video, finish answering these questions, and come back to me to check our answers. Now, I have also been in a blizzard. So, what do you think I have? I have perfect. I have, it will be I've. I've. My family hasn't been in many dangerous situations. What do you think? Are we going to change my family to uh, my family's? Excellent, excellent. We are changing only the pronouns. So we were right, my family. The last one, we have usually been safe. Hmm. Perfect, will be? Weave. And for now, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today.